Sorry, sorry folks, we uh, again go right into that uh, booty man. We gotta do a little uh, LCD first. LCD. Least common divisor, or least common denominator, when we're talking about a denominator, the objective is to express two or more fractions with their LCDs. Let's make an observation. How do I find the least common denominator of these? Well, what we do is we factor the denominators. We realize what? We realize that this guy, 12, is really 2 times 2 times 3. And we know this 10 is really 2 times 5. So in trying to find the LCD of these, it has to have these parts. It has to have a 2 and a 5 and a 2 and a 2 and a 3. But it's not going to need a 2 and a 2 and a 2. It doesn't need three twos. It only needs two twos, so this guy will fit into it. And one two from here and a 3 and a 5. So you end up putting like them together like this. 2, 2, 3, Five and say, hey, are all these guys made accounted, accounted for in here? Yes, there's a 223. Two, are all these guys? Yeah, there's a 25. So this and this will go in there. And that ends up being our LCD with 12 and 10. It's 60. So what do we do? We end up multiplying this guy by 6 over 6, and we multiply this guy by 5 over 5. But we're not really multiplying by 6 over 6, are we? We're multiplying by 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Why are you multiplying by 2 and 3? Because when I look at, oh wait a minute, no, what am I talking about? It's 30. Where's my brain? 12 times 5. No, it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. It's getting late. It's right now, it's, oh, it's almost 10 o'clock. I had two classes today after school, so I'm going to apologize for my, my lack of braininess right now. But I'm going to continue to where I left, where I left off. Yes, and I multiply this by 2 times 3 and this by 2 times 3. Why? If I look at this guy, this is a 2 times 5. If I look at the 2 and the 5 here, they're right there. The two factors that this guy's missing or isn't with it is, a th two and, and a, is the 2 and the 3. So I look at this by 2, 3, 2, 3. This guy, 2, 2, 3, is, is represented right here, 2, 2, 3. So I look at the 5 here, and that's how I know to multiply this guy by 5. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the factors and saying, what's missing from the LCD to here? Ooh, a 5. What's missing from the LCD to here? Um, a 2 and a 3. Because a 2 and a 5 taken care of. So I multiply these by, what I end up with, this becomes 25 over 60. This becomes 918 over 60. Now I rewrote these fractions. They're equal because remember, I'm multiplying this by 1 and this by 1. Two over, 6 over 6 is 1. So I didn't change the, what, their value, right? I know it's a little complicated, and I, again, it's late, but when I do it with the variables, I think it'll make a little bit more sense. All right, here we go. What's this guy? This is X, Y, Y. This is X, M. What's my new one going to be? Well, it's going to have, it's going to need an X, Y, Y, and an X and an M in it. So I say, all right, I look for what can these guys go into? Let's see. Won't they both go nicely into an X, Y, Y, M? Sure they work, because doesn't XM go in there? How many times does XM go in there? XM goes in there, YY times. So I multiply this guy by YY of a YY, sorry, YY of a YY. And I say, doesn't XYY go in there? Yeah, XYY goes in there, M times. So I multiply this guy by M over M. End up with M squared, end up with Y cubed. Now I can add them together, because if I had to, because now they have the same booties. All right. So... Here we go. We're looking for a number that both denominators go into. So it must have the factors from each denominator. To rewrite, fra to rewrite fractions, we multiply each of the fractions by the missing factors over the missing factors. For example, to find another way to look at it is you, if you list all the factors of everything, um, if you look at like, so there's a 3, an M, a 5, and an M, and you take the largest exponent of the factor, but we're not going to bother doing that um, right now. We'll just keep this kind of elementary. Um, so I need to have a 3m, m, a 5m. So I need at least a 3, a 5, and 2m's. So here's a 3, 5, m, m, 
three five m m and it's saying I just to get the new fraction I just multiply this guy by the missing factors over the missing factors so what factors that are here that aren't here just a five so the missing factor is five I end up with twenty multiply this guy by one four times five is twenty what's the factors missing here well five m five m a three and an m so I have to multiply this one by three m over three m remember this number here is one I get six m so I end up with 20 over 15m squared, 6 over 15m squared. So it's just like the same thing you've, uh, you, you've always done, right? So let's look at numbers again. Rewrite each with a common denominator. All right, so isn't this 2 times 2 times 2? Isn't this 2 times 3? And isn't this 3 times, sorry, times 3 times 2? Well, I mean, yeah, so this is 2 to the third, 2 times 3, 3. So I'm going to need at least the greatest exponent of each one. So the two's greatest exponent, this is two to the three, two to the one, two. I need two to the three down there. And the three's greatest exponent, which is three squared and a three squared. Another way you look at it is I'm gonna need two, two, two and a three, three. Why? Because this has to go into it and it does. There's two, three in there? Yeah, there's a two and a three in there. There's three, three, two in there? Yeah, there's a three, three, two in there. I'm gonna rewrite it three squared, two, three squared, sorry, two cubed, three squared. So I'm going to read all, rewrite all of these guys. Um, all right, I can just say, all right, eight. What's missing here? Well, two cubes. Are I can multiply by three squared, which is nine over nine, which is eighteen. And what is this anyway? This is eight times nine, which is seventy-two. Good. So you notice the seventy-two. All right, um, six goes into seventy-two. How many times? Twelve. But we don't know that. We're saying two, three. 2, 3 is taken care of here. What is this guy? It's 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. 2, 3 is taken. I'm missing a 2, 2, 3, which is 12. So multiply by 12 over 12. 12 times 5. End up with 60. 18 goes into this guy how many times? I don't know. I'm not that good. 3, 3, 2. 3, 3, 2. 4 times. So multiply by 4 over 4. Or I look at it. There's a 2, 3, 3. And there's 2, 2 missing. So multiply by 4 over 4. Get my 28. And that's what we're doing with regular fractions. So we're going to keep doing this. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this guy. What do we, how do we make equivalent fractions? Four-fifths is what? Well, you multiply by one. Five times what gives you that? I know five times five gives me that, so I multiply this by five over five. Just like x minus five times what gives me that? Well, x minus five times x plus one. This one I multiply by x plus one over x plus one. Because that number, just like five over five, is equal to one. So I can multiply this fraction by one and get an equivalent fraction which is 2 times x plus 1. All right? So let's find the LCD here. All right, here we go. Can we do it? Let's do it. This guy is x squared plus x, so we factor it, which is then x times x plus 1. This guy is x plus 1, x minus 1. This guy is x. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need an x plus 1, an x minus 1, and an x. Let's see. How many? Yes. So is this guy taken care of? Let's see. X, X minus 1. X plus 1. Yeah. X minus 1. Yeah, right there. X, X is in there. So say, good. Now I want to change the numerators. I say, how many times does this go into it? Well, X, X plus 1 goes into it X minus 1 times. That's how I multiply that guy. X plus 1, X minus 1 will go into this. I have to, to make this look like this, I need to multiply by X. So I multiply by X over X. To make this look like this, I have to multiply by x squared uh, minus 1, right? And for those of you who didn't get that, that's x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, I'm just about done. And I think I have to do like nine more problems. Just kidding. Sorry, guys. Just, just joking around. Here, I'm going to rewrite with the LCD. So you factor them. And you got to put the common factors together and say which is the factor that what's gonna, these are all going to go into. We're going to leave the denominator they're all going to. So I say, all right, what multiplies to get 6? The difference is 1, 2, and 3. So it's going to be x minus 3. x plus 2 is that guy. This is, we know this is a difference of squares. When we look at this guy, this is x plus 2, x plus 3. So what do I need? I need an x plus 3 and x minus 3. An x plus 2. Let's see, x, x minus 3, x plus 2 is in there. x plus 3, x minus 3 is in there. x plus 2, x plus 3 is in there. Oh, they're all in there. Good. So all I do is multiply the numerators by what's missing, what fact is missing from this guy, what fact is missing from this guy, what's not here that's down here, and I multiply the numerators by it. That's how I change the fractions. That's how we always do it. 
Again, it's getting late. I got to go to bed. Peace.